journey? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't think I ever actually started singing. I think I just always have. I don't remember there being a, a point in time when I, you know, started or, or decided I wanted to. I just always, always have been a big music person. Um, even as a kid, like running around the house, whether I was happy, sad, upset, I was always singing, always making up songs. In time out, I would sing like everything. <laughs> all, like, um, so I've always been doing music. Um, I did choir in grade school. So that kind of got me more into like organized or structured music. Uh, I was a huge theater person all through high school. Um, so then I went on to study it in college, got a music and technology degree. So yeah, I've just always, always been doing music, kind of always known it's what I needed to do with my life. So you were that kid that wouldn't stop singing when they were young, wouldn't stop humming the Oh, still the am, still am. <laughs> <laughs> Not just as a kid, always. <laughs> I never shut up. It's like Morgan, she like, she will not catch herself like it's to the point where you were singing you're like oh wait i'm sorry i didn't know i was like just humming or tuning like yeah, i think it I've has always something been to like do that. with the it, it comes as it soothes us as kids to just like sing us to sleep yeah so i always have an like a particular interest for people that are singers or within the music industry just because i think like it's a very difficult industry to be in as in any other creative industry but this one is hard Um, I know that a lot of your hardships were reflected somehow within your last album perspective, but before we get there, um, how has music helped you grow throughout life? Because I know it's taken you places, definitely taken, like when you chose to go to college for music, it's taken you to another state or another place. So where has music taken you so far? Oh, I mean, everywhere. M music? for me is it's a lot more than just you know something that's nice to listen to um it's been a huge coping mechanism i think music is a great way like writing music and creating music is a great way to reflect and um it's kind of like my journal my diary you know that kind of thing um but in a more like real life setting um i've been able to actually go like physically lots of places because of music um when i was in high school choir we got to go to disney we competed uh, in competitions in new york and nashville and all that stuff and of course then it brought me back to new york city to study it in college and i've gotten a lot of opportunities through that but uh yeah music has, has it's brought me everywhere whether that be like to actual physical places or even just like connections with people or, or you know making new friends and, and meeting communities of, of artists has just been amazing So in your music, are you the kind of person that always loves to introduce part of your own story within the music? Are you mostly inspired in stuff that you feel has happened to you? Or do you just love coming up with stories and representing them through a song? I think it's a combination of all of those things, um, which is one of the reasons why I think I'll never get sick of songwriting because there's so many different ways to do it. But I definitely use it as an outlet or Uh, when I'm feeling really overwhelmed or I need some place to put my emotion because for me I think there's something so powerful about being able to take raw emotion and turn it into something productive and concrete um, right. so it's definitely definitely been a great outlet for you know telling my own story and getting my own emotions on the page but also like character writing is so fun like getting into the minds of other people that's what the, my last single that we that I just released won't make it easy uh The whole, the whole premise of that song was trying to build a world around this character that we created. Um, right. And I think not only is that just a fun thing to do, but also it's a great exercise in compassion to try to put yourself, you know, into somebody else's mindset and, uh, you know, kind of live through their experiences with them. I feel like this is a recurring theme in the content and entertainment and media that I, that I see successful. The storytelling. You, like, you like to tell stories it, whether it is through lyrics whether it's through your uh, melody like i think that you can take that in and apply it to all of the creative industries in writing in uh whatever acting like actors have to create a character too do you feel that as a as a singer well what are like uh, before we go ahead like what do you do like you're a singer songwriter and what else because i never know i know you're a singer and songwriter like top notch but more than that i don't know if you produce if you yeah yeah um i songwrite i sing i produce i mix like my album that i released every i did everything on it except for the mastering um i've kind of always just been like uh, an adventure chaser a skill chaser as many things as i can get my hands on and try to do i've always loved to do that so um you know of course i feel more comfortable in some areas and i feel more confident in my abilities in some areas but in, in general i try to just 
you know, master as many things as I can. That's that's crazy. And I want to get back to that. So what I was saying is storytelling can be applied to everything. And in music, I feel, I don't know, for me, music is whenever I, I listen to it, I have a movie, mental movie going on. There's That's why I cannot write when I listen to music that has lyrics in it. Because for to me, music is something that when I, once I put it in, I go into a different world. And I'm on the consumer side. You know, I'm not on the producing side. So I know there's a lot of people that experience something similar, but it's literally like a soundtrack to whatever I'm doing in my real life. It's not just, oh, I'm listening to music in the background. It's like it's a soundtrack to whatever's going on. So I was like, dude, we give a lot of power to people like you who create these songs that we listen to on repeat every day. Do you ever stop and think like, because I know you still got a few, you got a, like a few thousand listens on your last album. That's thousands of people who listen to your lyrics and your message and your story. How does that feel like? Yeah, I mean, it feels amazing. I'm almost at 10,000 streams right now on the album. Wow. Which is, for me, that's like a huge deal. Like, that's so exciting. Um, also, I think it's really interesting that you said that um, about listening to music while you work, because I have always felt like I'm in the minority in that if I'm trying to work, I cannot have music on. Even if it's yeah. just instrumental music, I think it's, I feel so naturally like drawn toward it that if it's on, I can't focus on anything else. I've never been able to study with music. I've never been able to, That's you know, so take notes Same. or get anything done. It's crazy. Um, but in, in terms of the storytelling that you're talking about, I think it's really, really, really cool and powerful, you know, that everybody does that and can, and can relate to music so much from, from that kind of outlook. And I think it's just because as human beings, we naturally gravitate towards honesty. Like that's, yeah. as humans, that's what we crave. That's what we want. We want truth and, and relatability and um, music that tells a story specifically is just so, you know, it, it, it captures people in a different way. And um, it, it's cool to see uh, how people have been responding to my music because as much as I'm an artist and a musician, I'm also a consumer of music, of course. And um, like artists and songs that I've grown up listening to or the ones that I have on repeat, I always find, you know, some really deep connection with it. It's always a story that I resonate with or, you know, a melody that I, is haunting or, you know, something like that. And one of the big takeaways, I think, from putting my album out, you know, the whole title of the album is Perspective. And it's all about, you know, how people can perceive things differently and how everybody's going to, you know, find or relate to a different part of a song or a story. And I think that's what makes music so, you know, timeless. You can right. always find, you know, whatever's going to resonate with you and, and interpret it in your own way. And I think it goes beyond story because for you, the, that album was like crafted because I, I had the an insider look at the behind the scenes and everything. And yeah, you did. it was <laughs> awesome to see how not only was there a lot of storytelling and a lot of stories from your childhood as, you know, coming of age and whatnot, but there was also contrasting songs. Like you went as far as crafting this album. You crafted a story because you did so many things that you... Sh no other person would have done on their first album. Just They want to just get out a first album, be out there. And I feel like you 